story at 6.30 tonight. They're the kind of videos you're going to want to watch over and over and over again. What happens when you take a skunk, a curious homeowner, and some clever arts and crafts? Well, let's our, we'll let our Nikki Torres explain in this story you'll see only on 4 News Now. For many homeowners, the second you see some unwanted critters in your yard, you kind of want to sway them in a different direction. But for this one Spokane man, he instead wanted to create a friend instead of an enemy. Just when you think you've seen it all, you see a skunk in a kissing booth. Comes out here and he comes, he makes a little route, comes through both my bedroom windows, and he make a little stop uh, at the box now to sniff the stuffed animal or have a snack. It's like Snow White's Woodland Buddies, only it's not in the woods and this isn't Disney. It's in this man's Northwest Spokane yard. I had no idea how much was going on out here as I slept right out, right down the window. Nick Brommer started noticing a family of skunks a few weeks ago, and each night they'd get more and more comfortable around his home. When he started coming around my bedroom window every night, um, that's when he was getting really close, and I thought, I need to be friends with that skunk. Some may call it an unconventional friendship, but it's worked out. Hey, he comes by three or four times a night. He has a little route, and he kind of, you see him kind of shuffle along, his little tail goes up. He set up a little spot right outside his window where his friends can enjoy some light evening refreshments. This originally was the, the kissing booth that we changed to a uh, little stinky snack bar. So I had a few little toothpicks there with a few little snacks. There he is on Nick's wildlife cam, coming and going as he pleases, making friends with a stuffed animal, hosting him in the booth. Came by and he ate the little snacks first and then he came back later in the night and was looking for more and actually grabbed his little skunk friend out and pulled him out and looked for more. He thought maybe he was hiding him, I don't know. Just when you thought you've seen it all, a little stinker comes around and changes that. I asked Nick how long he's going to continue entertaining this family of skunks among other critters in his yard. He says as long as they don't become a nuisance, he's going to continue with the snack booths and kissing booths, making a lot of videos along the way. Reporting in North Spokane, I'm Nikki Torres for News Now.